Yan, what's up mga kaibigan? Tayo ngayon nagbabalik ano, upang magbigay na naman ng panibagong kalaman sa ating mga uh, mabubuting mag-aaral. Ano? Gamit ang ating whiteboard marker, ang ating uh, whiteboard itself, at syempre yung ating eraser. Ano? So ayun, bago tayo magsimula, bago natin ilahad ang ating uh, lesson ngayong araw, ano? kung maaari lamang mga kaibigan, ano? kung maaari lamang... <laughs> Uh, mag-subscribe na kayo sa ating channel ano? at uh, ganun din naman uh, click nyo na yung ating notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga lessons na ating i-release sa mga susunod na araw ano? and also, syempre para masayang lahat comment, like, and share our videos para naman makatulong tayo sa iba alright, so ayun, good luck guys Alright, so ang atin ngang pag-aaralan ngayong araw ay uh, pinamagatang uh, Solving Quadratic Equations by Extracting the Square Roots. Alright, so to be able to solve uh, a quadratic equation. So by the way, quadratic equations are uh, equations with the highest degree of 2. Okay, so th those are the quadratic Equations. So, quadratic equations can be written in the form of uh, x squared equals k can be solved by the uh, applying the following properties. No? So, property number one, we have if k is greater than zero, then x squared equals k has two real solutions or roots. Namely, x equals plus or minus square root of k. Alright, so that is property number 1. Property number 2, if k equals 0, then x squared equals k has one real solution or root x equals 0. Alright, so kapag daw yung k natin ay 0, the, the root is or the answer is 0. So property number 3, if k is greater uh, less, less than 0, then x squared equals k has no real solutions or roots. Alright, so kapag daw 0 naman yung ating uh, k, wala tayong solution. Alright, so that is uh, property number 3. Those are the 3 properties na tatandaan natin para masolve natin or paka para makapag-extract tayo ng square root. So, let us have an example para ma-apply natin yung uh, property natin. Example number 1. Example number 1. Saan so, ba lalagay dyan? Yeah, makapal. Example number 1, let's say we have um, x squared minus 16 equals 0. Now, to be able to solve this quadratic equation, transform natin siya sa uh, x squared equals k. Di ba? Yan yung nandun sa ating uh, definition ng ating uh, square root, di ba? So, transform natin siya sa ganyan. So, paano natin siya ililipat sa ganyang itsura? Madali lang yan. Ililipat lang natin yung constant na negative 16 dun sa kabila. And then, by doing that, so, may iwan yung x squared dito sa kaliwa. And then, lilipat yung negative 16 dun sa kanan. Alright? So, kapag lumipat kayo yung negative 16, by transposition, from negative magiging positive. So, 0 plus 16, that is 16. So, equals... 16. Alright? So, ganun lang. So, uh, kung papansinin ninyo, no, ito na yung k natin, 16. So, by property number 1, 16 is greater than 0. Tama, no? So, meaning, we have two real roots. So, ano yung magiging real roots natin dyan? Base dun sa property number 1, by taking the square root of both sides, yan, Tanggalin natin kasi kailangan lang natin yung x value eh. So, uh, cancel na to. Cancel na yung uh, radical sign niya dyan. So, x will be, x value will be. So, again, by property number 1, this is plus, minus, or positive, negative. Square root ng 16. Ano ba square root ng 16? That is 4. We are uh, fortunate or we are lucky kasi yung 16 is uh, a perfect square. Ano? So, square root of 16 is 4. So, we have two real 
number or real roots dun sa ating example number 1 which is positive 4 and negative 4. So, these are the answer for example number 1. Okay, example number 2. T squared minus 0 equals 0. So, paano gagawin natin dyan? T squared minus 0 is automatically T squared na lang yan. Kasi nga, 0 has no value. So, cancel lang ito. So, ang mangyayari dyan is T squared equals 0. So, by property number 2, ano, K is equal to 0. So, the answer for example number 2 is uh, 0. Kasi ang nakalagay doon, kapag daw yung K natin ay 0, meron siyang nag-iisang real root, which is yun nga, 0. So, by taking the square root, alam naman natin ang square root ng 0 is 0. No? So, T is equal to 0. Alright, that is example number 2. Example number 3, let's have S squared plus 9 equals 0. So, again, transform natin siya sa x squared equals x, ano? So, s squared, now, nilipat mo yung positive 9 sa kabila, magiging negative. And by property number 3, k is now less than 0. Ano ba yung mga numbers less than 0? Those are negative values. Alright? So, meaning, if we stick, if we stick to like, if we take the square root of both sides, Ito ay S na lang. Ano yung sabi dun sa property number 2? Ay, number 3, I mean. Kapag daw yung X ay K natin ay less than uh, 0, wala siyang real root. Meaning, the answer for example number 3 is imaginary number. So, matatalakay nyo yan siguro furtherly dun sa susunod yung mga uh, lesson sa klase. No? But, pero, ang sabi nga dun, wala siyang real root. Alright? So, x sa, sa uh, ang sagot sa number 3, uh, the quadratic equations has no real root. Or, or uh, should I say, has no solution. Let us have an example. No? Example number 4. Buray natin yan. Example number 4, let's have uh, x minus 4 squared minus 25 equals 0. So, medyo naging komplikado na no? base dun sa unang tatlong example na meron tayo. Pero madali lang yan. Kapag sinunod natin yung ating uh, rule and property, no? madali lang ito. So, example number 4. So, again, lipat natin siya sa x squared equals k, ano? So, yung constant natin, ililipat natin dun sa kabila. So, may iwan yung x minus 4 squared sa kaliwa, equals. Lipat natin yung minus 25 dun sa kanan. So, from negative, magiging positive. So, again, k is greater than 0, so applying property number 1. This will have two real roots. Alright? So, by taking the square root of both sides... Yan. So, cancel na ito. That will be x minus 4. Again, 2 real roots. O, square root ng 25, that will be positive, negative, ano? Kasi nga, base sa property number 1 natin. Square root of 25 is 5. So, to solve for x, kasi yung x value ang kailangan natin, eh, transpose natin yung negative 4 dun sa kabila. Right? So, x now will be Negative 4 magiging positive. So, positive 4 plus minus 5. So, ano, ano bang ibig sabihin yan? Ibig sabihin lamang yan, we have two values of x. So, yung isa is x equals 4 plus 5. Yung isa naman is x equals 4 minus 5. Kasi nga, plus minus 5 yun eh. Now, so, eto, the answer is 9. And here, the answer is negative 1. So, these are the real roots 
for example, number 4. 9 and negative 1. Now, if you want to check if your answer is correct, ano, dito na lang, checking. Eh, uh, substitute natin yung values natin na 9 tsaka negative 1 dun sa original uh, equation natin. So, sulat lang natin yung original equation, x minus 4 squared minus 25 equals 0. Right? So, palitan natin yung x ng 9. So, that will be 9 minus 4 squared minus 25 equals 0. So, 9 minus 4 is 5 squared, that is 25 minus 25 equals 0. And 25 minus 25 is 0. So, meaning, tama yung ating value na 9. Alright? So, yung ano naman, yung 1. Check natin kung tama ba yung 1. Ano? So, palitan natin ng negative 1. Sorry, negative 1 pala, hindi 1. Negative 1 minus 4 squared minus 25 equals 0. Alright? So, negative 1 minus 4, that is negative 5. Negative 5 squared is 25 also. Minus 25 equals 0. So, 25 minus 25 is 0. Meaning, our answer are correct. Alright? So, that is example number 4. Let's have another example. Example number 5. No, uh, erase lang natin ito. Erase, 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 erase. Example number 5 na tayo eh, no? 5. Let's say we have 2s squared equals 50. Alright, now, yung uh, examples 1 to 4 natin, wala tayong coefficient doon, ano? Uh, s squared, x squared, etc. na lang, lang yung una nating mga examples. So, again, ngayon, meron lang tayong coefficient na 2. Alright, so, to be able to solve for s, our first step is to uh, divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable. Alright? Or the quadratic term. So, meron tayong coefficient na 2. So, tatanggalin muna natin yung 2 na yan. Ano? Kailangan, maiwan na lang yung variable na naka-square. Alright? So, divide both sides by 2. Yan. So, cancel na to. Ang matitira dito sa kabila is s squared. Equals, so, 50 divided by 2, that is 25. Now, again, uh, K or 25 is greater than 0, ano? So, property number 1. So, we will have 2 uh, real roots, right? So, by taking the square roots of both sides, so, dito ko ilalagay, no? Square, uh, S squared equals 25. Kapag kinuha natin yung square root ng both sides, so, tanggal na yan, that will be positive negative 5. And that is the answer, for example, Number 5. Alright? So, ganun lang kadali. Ano? Burain ko na yan. Bagay ulit tayo ng panimbagong example natin. Example number 6 nga tayo, mga kaibigan. Example number 6. 4x squared minus 225 equals 0. So, again, the same process, no? Ilipat natin din yung negative 225 dun sa kabila. Alright? So, by doing that, we have 4x squared equals positive 225. Kasi nga, from negative, if we transpose it on the other side, magiging positive. So, again, the first step is to eliminate the coefficient. So, divide both sides by 4. Cancel. So, ang matitira x squared equals 225 divided by 4 has no lowest term, ano? So, copyin lang natin yun. Wala siyang lowest term, eh. Divided by 4. Now, applying or uh, extracting the square root of both sides, we have now x equals, since that uh, our k is greater than 0, this will be plus minus. We have 2 real roots, alright? So, square root of 225, I think that is 20. Uh, 25, ano? Ay, sorry. Square root ng 2, 2, 5, that is, ay, sorry, 15 pala. 15, ano? So, always check using your calculator kung pwede man, kung allowed man kayo, ano? 15 all over, square root ng 4 is 2. So, these are the answer. Positive, negative, 15 over 2. That is, for example, number 6, ano? Example number 7 tayo, mga kaibigan. Another example, we have 
example number 7 um, 3 h squared minus 147 equals 0 so again uh, magkakamukha lang naman sila no? applying our rules or our steps transpose negative 147 on the other side we have 3 h squared equals 147 so next step is to eliminate the coefficient 3 h squared now is equal to 147 divided by 3 49 this is 49 ano? alright so again k is greater than 0 so we will have 2 real roots square root square root h now is equal to square root of 49 is positive negative 7 so meaning these are the answer alright for example number 7 so bigay pa nga tayo no? I think uh, let us have this last this uh, example as our last now number number 8 na no? 8 example number 8 let's say we have x minus 4 squared uh, equals 169 so wala na tayong itatranspose no? kasi nandun na siya sa form na x squared equals k k is 169 which is greater than 0 so meaning we will have again 2 real roots right so again by extracting the square root of both sides this will be x minus 4 equals square root of 169 is I think 13 ano? square root of 169 13 so 13 positive negative Kasi uh, nag, nag ano tayo, extract tayo ng square root eh. So again, uh, to be able to solve for x, transpose negative 4 on the other side. So th that will be x equals negative magiging positive na yan. Plus minus 13. So again, we'll have 2 real roots. So pag hiwalay natin, yung isa is x equals 4 plus 13. Yung isa naman is x equals 4 minus 13. Alright, so our first value of x is 17, and the, the second value of x is 4 minus 13 is equal to negative 9. Tama ba? Check natin, baka tayo mali eh. 4 minus 13 is negative 9. Alright, so our answers for number 8 are 17 and negative 9. So again, if you want to check if your answer is correct, just substitute uh, on our original equation. Ano? So using our calculator, check natin. Ano? So yung x magiging 17 minus 4 squared equals 169 which is correct. Ano? 169. So try natin yung negative 9. Negative 9 minus 4 squared, that should be 169. Ano? Correct. So, 169. Meaning, our answers are all correct. Alright? So, ayun, mga kaibigan, ano, that is for uh, solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots. Alright? That is all for our lesson today. Alright? So, uh, Yung uh, next lesson natin will be uh, again solving quadratic equations by different method naman. Alright? So hopefully nakatulong tayo mga kaibigan. Ano? Maraming salamat mga kaibigan. Uh, ayan, God bless sa muling pagkikita mga kaibigan. Salamat!